Oh God, Sam. I want to give the sniper a shot real quick. That worked. Required sanitary measures. This is going well. Nice. Finally, could do some real sniping. Well, that didn't do nearly as much as I thought it would. There we go. Get some actual sniping done. Love it. So I gotta go up that way for the weapon. There we are. Oh, good behemoths. What I wanted to see. Those things are stupid. Uh, uh. All right, so the uh, the primals are totally okay with getting sniped. There we go. That went pretty well. <coughs> Kill points.
Alright, just get Persuade up to 50. Yeah, I definitely want to get that Corrosion damage. There we go, and now third drug mixing and chance to recover basic mods. Excellent. Gives me three points left. So he gets... Oh yeah, I never gave him his perks. Eh, CPR seems okay. Oh, do I have that fear of auto mechanicals thing on, which is kind of annoying? Mark II, that's pretty damaging. I think I'll wait until I have a chance to actually get the uh, tactical Mark II. Take more heavy ammo, why not? <clears throat> more vending. What do you have? Better hunting rifles, shot cannons, plasma carbines, eh. Yeah. Man, mandibular re ranger. What? That. Okay, um, no idea what it does, but it's worse than the other weapons I have, so it's got to have some pretty sweet special effect or something. Okay, nothing interesting there.
Anything over here while I am here? Sealed. Which means good shit inside, right? I don't think there's a way in. Ah, eh, well. That looks like a promising cave. By promising, I mean terrifying, so I'll keep far away. No challenge is too large, no mess is too small. There is no credible research on the health effects of denting directly under a terraforming cabinet. In case you were wondering. Ooh. There has been no data on this. My inner scientist is coming out. For science. Bum 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 bum. Wee! Oh god, it hurts. It hurts. Alright, so science says it's bad for your health. <sighs> oh, jeez. Give me a moment, sorry. Sorry, just give me a moment. Oh boy. Being a Jets fan, man. Nothing but pain and suffering. Alright, this time give the Terraformer a wide berth. Oh shit! I wasn't paying attention, what the hell? Hey, where do you think you're going? I think they're dead. I, I say you they dead. No thanks to me.
Tremendous work, friend. Here I was readying a daring maneuver, and you've come and saved me the trouble. Why does that sound familiar? Ah, uh -uh, it's Ellie. Excellent timing. Hello, Ellie. What a pleasure it is to see your sparkling beauty in this barren waste. It's Dr. Fenhill. I certainly know his ex-crew. Mostly from the operating table. I've probably seen more of them than he has. How cruel you are. I distinctly remember a special party at the Lost Hope Bar on Groundbreaker where we... We did not. Oh, fine. But we almost. Keep going, and you're gonna see how good this automatic is at picking up teeth. Oof. Symptoms detected. Elevated heart rate. Dilated pupils. Increased sweat production. Subject appears to be terrified. <laughs> I'm not terrified, you bucket of bolts. That's victory sweat. Sure. Sure, buddy. What were they after? Meds, I'm guessing. Pirates love bits, and unlabeled meds are worth a bundle. The one and only. Uh, wait, who's asking? Wanda didn't send you, did he? Oh boy. No, don't know any Wanda. I wager she told you to say that, the sly old bird. I swear, land on Groundbreaker even a moment tardy, and that busybody's already been up your ass an hour. You tell her these Automex are coming, and sending a hired stooge to rescue me from certain peril only furthers my delay. No offense. Magnificent. And do please give Wanda my chilliest regards. And farewell to you, dear Dr. Fenhill. I trust I'll see you next I find myself on the groundbreaker. You'd better hope not. <laughs> Glad I brought Ellie with me. Fires two bullets. Interesting. What weapon is Ellie using? 220 DPS versus 250? Yeah. Am I on fire? Okay, good. <laughs> Alright, well, I was hoping there's enough money in that uh, quest reward to get me the pass I need welcome back Nova <coughs> ow Oh, there's a respec machine on my ship. I completely fucking forgot about that. Are you kidding me? If it doesn't put me straight into the ship, I have to go through two loading screens? That's a little annoying. Every other landing pad puts you at your ship interior. Not this one. That's a little annoying. There are minor gripes I have for this game, and stuff like that's one of them. There's a little bit of a lack of accessibility in certain points. Discussing the latest wave serial. Oh boy. They talking about comics. The Elixir apps are surely not gonna believe this. You remember that spin-off series about the mass marketeer? Halcyon Helen's coming on for a special romance arc! Ah! What if they hold hands? Wow, are you serious? I gotta get a copy of that. No wonder she's on good terms with them. They both like cereals. Oops, you know, for an asexual mess, she likes romance. Sometimes I wonder about Mr. Hawthorne. 
What was he like? Why'd he make the computer a talkie? You think he got lonely, flying about on his own? Oh, you mean Sam? Sam? He's just the sweetest, ain't he? A real charmer, my dad would say. He's a robot. Nah, huh. but I've been thinking on one. Gotta get to know no. him better, I think. Maybe ask him what he prefers. It ain't yeah. nice to give folks a nickname without him giving you the okay first, you know? That's a good point. Of course, that don't stop Felix. <coughs> Sanitizing within established radius. Something on your mind? No, I just want to see if there's any new dialogue. I don't permanently crippled. What? No, rejecting that. Minus 30% movement speed, unable to dodge. No. <laughs> the game does not like how many times I've taken fall damage. Oh my god. Alright, so you don't regen health fast enough to avoid dying on the ship. I should probably keep that in mind. At least that seems to be a very easy perk to get. You've taken fall damage too many times. You're now a cripple. <laughs> I think it's just part of my shtick at this point. Take fall damage as many times as I can. Please, doctor, whatever your name is, give me at least 1,500 bits. 1,500? 1,602, actually. I require 1,602 bits for this. Oh, uh, so Nova, did you like my choice of music for the, uh, for episode 10? Yeah, with how easy companions are to go down, I would not want to play on Supernova and risk permadeath. Now I kind of really want to watch Kokarn just play through because he is playing on Supernova. Yeah, for the voiceover. Because I'm playing on hard, and my companions have gone, like, down, down multiple times. So I can't help but think that he would not be okay with Supernova's permadeath. Because I don't think there's a way to revive your companions. Yeah, I wanted there to be some hype to it. Please give me a decent chunk of money. Well, well, Dr. Fenda. It's not often I see you on this side of sick bay. I make it a point not to get shot, and when I do, I can usually take care of the mess myself. It'd be nice to have you in here patching people up, not just blowing them apart. I respect what you're doing here, but you know I'm not ready to settle down. It's not you, it's me. <laughs> I like Ellie. Have it your way, then. You always do. Now, about your friend here. Were I a gambling woman, I'd wager you're responsible for my mechanical safe return. I can't thank you enough. Thank don't pay my bills. Okay. How many bits? 1,200? God damn it. Not 1600. Eh. You have no idea how upsetting this is. Need to make 400 bits real quick.
That's 60 of them. Money. Fucking greedy bastard. If you're here for this week's it's magazine club meeting. meeting, you're a touch late. Take your goddamn money. Fantastic. <coughs> Do be careful with it, dear, as these keys tend to be a tad hard to acquire. You should have a chat with Lilia Hagen in the sublight offices. She's a dear. You'll love her. Now, was there anything else? No. Goodbye, greedy and bitch. Do all that work for you. Do all that leg work and still make me purchase the damn pass. I think it counts anyhow. As long as there's paying work, you can count me in. Alright. Now I came over here initially because I needed money for the pass. Now that I have the pass, what's your work? If this is something Tobias could handle, see yourself out the door. Sure is. Welcome aboard, contractor. One of my guys in Stellar Bay has a lead on some high-grade salvage, but he went dark before he could spill the goods. We arranged a drop at the Saltuna Warehouse's loading dock. Find whatever he left there and take it to Fallbrook. My gal Catherine will be expecting you. When the board pulled out of Monarch, they buried or sealed anything they couldn't carry off-world. Apparently, one of Catherine's teams uncovered an abandoned lab with full tanks of Alta Vitae gas. Hmm. It's exactly one million bits per cubic meter. Before you get too excited, the only thing rarer than Alta Vitae gas is a reliable buyer. Dangerous stuff. Acid for the nucleon in your cells. It's no good to anyone outside of a lab. But it can be a lot of fun, if you don't mind the possibility of rewiring your body on an atomic level. You and I have different notions of fun, Dr. Fenhill. Alright. Now, get going. Catherine will brief you on the details when you check in with her at Fallbrook. One last thing. When you're on the job, keep a pair of eyes in the back of your head. Understood? Don't go looking for anything, except salvage. Just watch out. You'll do fine. Probably nothing to worry about. Probably. Yay! I ain't worried if you aren't, what? Captain. Uh, honest. Yeah. Someone about to shoot me in the back of the head. Mike, well, we've got plenty of work. Good day, if you don't mind where the bits come from. <laughs> Damn it. I keep wanting to stream this for like hours and hours and hours on end, but this damn cold is kicking my teeth in. <coughs> Ugh, I really don't want to stop streaming. I think I'm going to talk to Ada and Willis and then I'm going to call it just because I think I need the rest more than I need to stream. I've been loving this game, and I want to keep playing it, but not at the expense of my health. Which is probably... It's taken me 28 years of my life to finally realize that my health is more important than playing a game for 8 hours straight, but eh. Didn't stop me from playing Factorio for 10 hours straight when I first got it. Oh, damn. I cannot wait until this cold is gone, and I could sit in a chair for two hours and not feel incredibly sore. Well, 
Welcome aboard, Captain. Welcome back, Captain. Captain. Now, now that you have acquired the NASA to Stellar Bay, Bay, would you like me to contact Dr. Dr. Wells? That doesn't this guy have a life. Well done. You'll love Monarch. Exotic climate, violent native species, fascinating culture, really. You'll need to speak with Hiram Blythe. He's known as the information broker, and for good reason. If anyone knows where I can find those chemicals, it's Hiram. Yeah, a broker. More money I have to spend. Those chemicals to revive the Hope's colonists. They can help us fight back against the board. They can help us set things right. If we don't put a stop to the board, they're going to drive this colony toward a complete societal collapse. You'll see what I mean when you arrive on Monarch. Yeah, societal collapse is bad for business. <laughs> no, never. Monarch is a hotbed of political activity. I can't imagine why Hiram set up shop there. Cuisine, perhaps? I certainly wouldn't call it boring, especially if your idea of fun involves navigating a hostile biosphere populated by carnivorous monsters. You'll want to hire the services of a skilled guide. I recommend a hunter by the name of Nioka. Frequents the drinking establishments of Stellar Bay. Very hard to miss. Once you have everything you need, make your way to Hiram Blythe's compound. Come see me in my lab. I'll answer any questions you have. Best of luck. Everyone on the Hope is counting on you. Well, societal collapse is bad for business, so I guess I'll save them. They really need saving, though? Like, goddamn. I don't want to do the work. <clears throat> Damn it. I don't think these guys have any new dialogue. Good to see you, boss. Yep, no new dialogue. I know Max won't have new dialogue until I finish his quest. I don't know about um, Ellie. But you know, the responsibility of uh, saving these colonists is really weighing on me. And how do I take care of my stress? I take fall damage, that's how. Oi. I take fall damage. Breaking my ankles relieves stress, don't question it. Alright, those are the knees now. The knees are gone. That's a hip replacement. I'm pretty sure there's some internal organ damage there as well. Wee. <laughs> ah, jeez. Uh, eyes are watering, snivelings happening again. Well, that's the thing is the game tried telling me I was permanently crippled. Imagine if part of Supernova difficulty was you had to accept your flaw perks. Oh, that would be brutal. All right, I'm going to end it there because I need to rest. I need to eat. My throat's starting to hurt from talking. Thank you for stopping by. That was only two hours. I'm hoping to go longer tomorrow. Yeah, I think that would be great for Supernova difficulty as opposed to the Permadeathic Companions. But eh, what do I know? I'm not a game developer. Talk to you later, Nova.